Now, if you're watching this video, I'm guessing that you got monetized not too long ago and you're trying to figure out what to do next. Or perhaps you've already gone ahead to set up your Google AdSense account and now you're being told to verify your address. What do you do? Stay tuned. I've got quite a bit coming up for you. All right, so you're welcome back. So don't forget, if you like this video, do me a favor and smash the like button. You can subscribe. You can also turn on all notifications such that whenever I post a new video, you get notified. And if it's something you'd like to watch, you can totally go ahead and do that. I will totally appreciate all the support I can get. Operation 50K. That's what I'm looking for right here, right now. Anyway, so, you know, forget all that. Now, as I said before, um, I'm sure that you are just, uh, you know, a YouTuber who either is just really curious or you just got monetized on YouTube and you're trying to figure out how you can get the money to hit your bank account straight. And yet when you set up your Google AdSense account, chances are that Google, well, the platform said that you needed to verify your address. Now, this simply means that Google AdSense is going to send you snail mail or a uh, letter right? It's going to send you a letter that essentially will have a couple of digits in it. A pin is what they call it. And then you're going to have to input that pin into your Google um, AdSense account to verify your address. Now, this process can be a little cumbersome, a little um, difficult to go through. And if you don't have a lot of patience, well, you just might do something really stupid that will mess up your account completely. And so what are the next steps for a small YouTuber who just got monetized? First and foremost, I'd like to say congratulations. You probably hit your 1,000 subscribers and your 4,000 watch hours. It's not easy to do. And so if you're watching this video, you know the hustle we all go through to get views on our videos. So congratulations for that. All right, let's jump right into it. So first and foremost, um, take note. First thing you need to know is to use your postal address. Second thing is to wait, wait, wait. Um, so I got monetized on the 26th of October, 2020. Um, and I put in my, I, I had already, you know, out of curiosity, gone ahead to set up my Google AdSense account. So it was really easy linking my YouTube channel to my AdSense account. And this is the only platform that you will um, be able to receive payments from straight into your account here in Ghana. Um, so, but for the first mistake that I did, I would not have been able to, uh, I, I'm sure I would have been able to receive my money earlier into my account. But because of that first mistake I did, it delayed for another month or so. Um, today, as the date I'm recording this video, hey Bixby, what's today's date? Today is Sunday, December 27th. Right. Mm -hmm. So as you heard Bigsby say, today is Sunday, December 27th. It's exactly two months since, um, you know, I put in my details and I have received the letter. Chances are, if you don't make the same mistake that I did, you will receive it a lot earlier. And uh, I will show you shortly how you can then verify your address. I'll tell you one mistake that I did that you perhaps would like to avoid. Now, when I put in my billing address um, in the Google AdSense account, I um, used my residential address. Now, if you know, for those of us who live in West Africa, or at least Ghana, to be precise, I can only speak for Ghanaians, we do not have a mail delivery system that delivers straight to our homes. Doesn't happen. Um, or if it does, then it's on a private kind of um, basis. And so um, you would want to first and foremost, make sure that you're using a PO box and not your residential address. So if you've already gone ahead to um, put in your resi residential address, I would advise that you wait for another two to three weeks before the platform will give you the opportunity to change your address again, but you're gonna have to wait. That's number one. And um, secondly, after the two weeks, you can go back to the platform and get the platform to resend your pin okay it's the same pin they're going to be sending you so don't worry at all it's not going to change every time they send you a new um letter or an, or or a new document like the one i have here um it's the same pin they're going to keep resending i think they do that about four times maximum before they give you other ways that you can verify your address because that is totally possible and i've seen lots of youtubers already being able to verify their addresses 
without receiving this document. Whilst you wait, you need to make sure that you do not mess this up at all because the waiting period can be cumbersome. And if you live in Africa or West Africa, chances are um, it might take a little longer for you to get that Google AdSense pin that they're going to um, send you. One thing I got to let you know is, um, so in waiting, in two in the two month wait at least for me in my situation or whether yours is going to be a month or three weeks or even two weeks or maybe even five working days um don't get any funny ideas right because for me i was beginning to get frustrated especially after i didn't receive it the first time around and then i had to wait for the pin to be sent a second time and then i realized wait, I'd waited, what, three weeks and I still hadn't received it. Like I was literally at breaking point when the message came, when the letter came through and, and that was, um, you know, offered me some great relief. But that being said, don't get any fancy ideas. By fancy ideas, I mean like thinking about, oh, or maybe I should change my address. Because in my case, like my sister lives in the USA. And so I must say I entertained the thought of changing my billing address maybe to the USA, my sister's address in the USA, such that she would get it easier and earlier for obvious reasons. They have a better postage system. Um, and um, yeah, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Do not do that. Take it from me. Do not do that. And um, what happens is you're, you're going to put your Ghanaian bank account details in there. You're going to give a US address. The system will find a way to basically they're not going to send you your money that smells like fraud and the system has a way of detecting things like that so just be patient you will get your pin free advice take it from me do not put an address of another country in there unless you reside in that country you can you can put the address of another location in your country so say if uh, you lived in the capital Accra and you didn't have a postage box here. Meanwhile, maybe a relative in Takrade had a postage or a P.O. box. Um, you could use their, you know, um, P.O. box. Um, so far as it's still in Ghana, you understand. But do not do the whole other country thing. Thank me later. So let me show you what the document actually looks like. I got this document not too long ago and I had to wait about two months to receive it. So a lot of people will tell you that don't worry if um, the, the document is going to come your way, you put in your phone number and everything. So if say it comes to the postal system of your country and let's say you used your residential address, your phone number is going to pop up on it. And so whoever uh, the responsible person at the post office is will certainly pick up a phone and call you and let you know that your Google AdSense letter came to them. But I could tell you that this is not true. Now, if you look at this document, just take a really quick look at it as I'm doing now, you'd realize that your phone number is not on it. So if you used your residential address, you will not receive it. I'm sorry. Ghana Post does not deliver to your doorstep. Mind you, even if you start making money on the platform, you cannot receive it. They will not pay it into your bank account until you verify your address. And so they keep holding on to all your money. Here's the other side to it. Now, you need to be able to reach a threshold of $100 here in Ghana uh, for the Google AdSense platform to do or to perform payouts. Okay, so if you don't have more or you haven't made more than $100 from your YouTube account or whatever channel you're using, maybe a website, um, they will not make the money available to you. So that's the second thing. So to verify your address, um, first, what you would notice is well, you become monetized all right. But if you go to your YouTube studio, um, you would realize that there is a message at the top of, um, you know, your dashboard that tells you that basically it's an important notice. And what it says is, please sign in to your Google AdSense account to verify your address using the pin code mailed to your billing address. This is required to receive future payments and continue monetizing. So you'll continue to see this message as a prompt every now and again. And for me, I just left that tab at the top of my page so I remember to make sure that I work earnestly at getting my billing address uh, uh, or rather my um, pin my pin code 
Um, so I left that there. So anyway, now that you've received your pin code, it's very easy for you to just go to google.com forward slash AdSense. Now I've already set up the account. So as you can see, the page is opened and then you move down to the tab, which says verify your billing address. It tells you when your pin was posted. It tells you the duration it will take for you to see that two to four weeks, and then you should be, um, you should be receiving it anyway. So at this point, you just um, open up your letter that you got, put in the pin that is within the letter and it's confidential and it's secure. No one else has access to that. Once you put your pin in, just remember to click submit and you are good to go. Your billing address has been verified. It's that simple. And so if you have any balance in Google AdSense, almost within the hour or immediately, Google AdSense at this point if it's so far as it's beyond the hundred dollar threshold, we'll push it into your bank account and it can take anything from one to five business days to reflect in your Google AdSense account. If you already haven't already taken time to set up your bank account details, you might want to do that whilst you wait such that as soon as you receive the pin and Google AdSense pushes the money out to your account, it has a place to go, right? So I set up my account. What I had to do was to call my banker and let her know that, Hey, this is what I was going to do. I'm going to receive payments from abroad. Um, what do I need to know? You'll need your bank swift code. Um, and if they use like a partner bank and that kind of thing, then, um, you need to put in all those details, but essentially a bank can help you do that. And indeed, if you make any errors or there are any mistakes in it, you will know once your pin, you put your pin in and your um, uh, billing address uh, or your address is verified because you will not receive payments and then you'll have to go back to your bank for assistance. Either way, your money is not missing, so don't worry. It will hit your account once it has a clear route to do so. So after you put in your pin, you don't have to do anything else. Google AdSense does everything. They don't hold on to your money. So this is how you receive your payment. Essentially the money from your YouTube channel, your websites or wherever else you're getting, you're making money online will be pushed into your Google AdSense account. It typically happens around the 15th of the next month. So if we're in December, I'll only get my earnings from December um, in January and around the 15th of January. And so that's how it typically happens. And that is how you get your first YouTube paycheck. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please don't forget to smash the like button. Don't forget to subscribe as well. I totally appreciate that. My name is Jessica. Thank you so much for watching and bye bye for now. Just when you decide to record, your neighbor rearranges his or her apartment. I could shoot somebody.